The state trooper accused of killing Ricky Cobb II during a traffic stop last summer made his first court appearance today. Our Paul Bloom joins us now. And Paul, a big show of law enforcement support here and an unusual move by the state. They did not ask for any bail money. Certainly not the norm in a second degree murder case here, Randy, but of course we are talking about a member of law enforcement wearing the badge when this deadly encounter occurred tonight. Those close to Trooper Ryan Lange again raising safety concerns as he is out free on bail, the court requiring him to surrender his passport. So thank you so much for showing up and we appreciate it. Onward with the case. Trooper Ryan Lange's legal team gearing up for a courtroom fight thanking the large group of law enforcement and other supporters who showed up Monday for Lonjigan's first court appearance on murder, manslaughter, and assault charges. What was your immediate reaction on why you already charged murder in this case? I just, I just can't believe it. It's just, it's, it's disgusting. It's a disgrace. The deadly traffic stop encounter unfolded last July on I-94. Troopers had pulled over Ricky Cobb II early in the overnight hours, his taillights out. You have to step out, okay? Hold on, is it a warrant? Cobb refused to exit the vehicle. He was wanted on a standing order for protection violation. When Lange again and a fellow trooper attempted to pull him from his car, Cobb appeared to set the vehicle in motion. Lange again fired twice. Get out of the car now! <laughs> my brother is the hero, and I want justice for my brother. Cobb's family attended the brief court hearing with their civil attorney. Trooper Longigan, meanwhile, came and went with his wife. He said nothing to either the media or the judge. His attorneys have raised concerns about his and his family's safety in the day since he was charged. In one filing, lawyers documented online threats seemingly directed at the trooper. They also provided the court with this ring at doorbell video purportedly from the Longigan house back in October, appearing to show a vehicle pull right up in front, followed by a barrage of flashes they believe it is someone they do not know taking photographs. As for the conditions of his bail, Trooper Lange again is not allowed to transport firearms, but that seemingly means he can still keep them at his home amid those concerns about safety and security. Meantime, the trooper is scheduled to be back in court April 29th. Paul Bloom, Fox 9. All right, Paul, thank you.